Hey, what's up guys? Back with some more raids today, and if you guys remember, we tried raiding PHP. This armored cliffside bunker, that was actually my raid base, but he re-raided it, took it over, and now it's his. He left my turrets up and everything, but anyways, on his base, his turrets are shut down. There's actually a guy sleeping on top of campfires. I think somebody tried hitting it, or at least they hit that sheet metal door right there, and they got to the battery. Apparently shut down the turrets, but didn't actually go for the raid, because the base is still up and complete. So with all those turrets shut down, I want to come back here and see if we can actually finish the raid. There's still a turret over there. But we know this is the cliffside bunker base. If we bring C4 and drill in the right spot, we could get lucky here. I mean, this guy's been living here for literally, like, the entire web, so I know it's going to be a juicy raid. Just need to get a raid base set down. We'll come back here with some C4 and rockets. Ladder over the tie walls and see if we can find... Finally do this thing once and for all. Alright guys, we're going for this. I have 41 C4, hoping that's going to be enough, plus about 30 rockets. Now this thing's probably going to be pretty secure. We've already scouted this thing out a few times. Hey guys, before we move on to the raids, today's video is sponsored by GG Rust. If you're 18 or older and want to try your luck with opening some cases to win some sick skins, head over to GG Rust. They have cases ranging from 20 cents all the way up to $25. I started out trying the homework case, which was only a dollar and actually ended up with a $4 tempered SAR skin. Now I probably did have beginner's luck, but don't worry, if you want to increase your balance each day, there's actually daily bonuses, which increasingly get higher and higher the more days that you hop on and claim your bonus. You can also increase your daily bonus just by getting XP from opening cases and creating contracts, which will in turn give you more points to collect every day. GG Rust is also always running wheel bonuses. You guys will then get a spin at the wheel and hopefully you can have some good luck like I did. Be sure to use this wheel promo code also shown in the description for a free spin. GG Rust is provably fair using encrypted server seeds that are actually available for you to see. So if you guys want to try your luck, head over to GG Rust using my link in the description or pinned comment below. Also the promo code ACADEMY gives you a plus 11% to your first deposit. And don't forget about the wheel promo code for a free spin. All of that's being listed here or in the description. Thanks again to GG Rust and on to the raids. Well we have actually attempted to raid it twice. First time we got countered, second time he came online. So hopefully we can finally do this thing. Let's slide her into his high walls and check it out. And I'm not going to die to my own turds, because I placed those turds and he took them over. Okay, actually a box here in this compound. Nothing in there. Just need to make sure not to get shot down by turrets here. Oh, okay. Well, I think we will skip laddering up over this next wall. We'll just toss 2c4 in the gate and start going from there. Okay, here we go. We're just going to take the gate because there's turrets covering that wall and we cannot ladder over it. All right, let's see if all of the turrets are shut down. Yeah, so many freaking barricades, dude. And this is the cliff right here. We just need to figure out exactly where to start drilling down. Because this thing is built like halfway into a freaking rock. Um, I would probably go for like one of those triangles right there in the center. Maybe even that square? Can we try going for this square? Okay, so that was actually a triangle, but we need to see, yeah, there is half floors. Now we can kind of start trying to decide where we think loot is. Oh, okay. This thing goes all the way back against the rock on this corner. Honestly, what are these squares doing? This is like the ground over here. Let's go for 16 rockets. We'll just start opening this thing up. See if we can get any hints towards where the loot is. Okay, we've kind of opened this thing up. Still really can't tell where the heck loot is going to be on it though. All right, well, I am liking how this cliff is coming in through the walls here. Maybe uh, the loot could be over here next to these cliffs. That's like the only spot other than that other corner back there where we can actually see the cliff. So I'm going to start drilling maybe this triangle, 70% stable. Okay, still armored. 79% stability, maybe third floor.
This should be second floor, I think. 82. All right, we're getting closer to foundation. Let's hope we can find something. TC, let's go, dudes. Small boxes. Yo, let's go, dudes. Oh my god, guys. 75 C4 in there. Let's go. 150 freaking rockets, bro. We got so lucky finding this TC. Uh, I'm going to kill this thing. No? Let's add an airlock up here just in case somebody comes by. Okay, so we sort of have an airlock. I'm building blocked on these triangles though, so I can't actually upgrade them. But anyways, I think we'll be okay as long as nobody comes to counter this thing and we're done sending off C4. Oh my God, even more freaking C4 and 507 tech trash, bro. That is an insane amount of tech trash. We still have TC here to check and we are already leaving with 91 C4, bro. Plus the 13 airdrops. Okay, let's see if we can get sulfur in the TC too. Okay, this was a massive jackpot success. Let's go, dudes. So this is what the first trip out of here is looking like. 36k GP, 91 C4, and like 120 rockets. Definitely need to come back for these CCTV cameras and targeting computers to make more turrets. But yeah, guys, we finally raided PHP. It took three tries, but we did it, and it was all totally worth it. 91 C4. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the next raid. Okay, guys, so I kind of have more rockets and C4 than I even know what to do with. So I'm just hitting everything that I can find. And I did find a weird base out here on an island. The dude does have a mini parked in front. So, I mean, possibly active. Looked like a solo player. He did have a key lock on the front, sheet metal door. And the base is just super weird. He's got like armored sheet metal and stone portions. But check this out, sheet metal door on an armored doorway. So I wanted to check this thing and see if we can get a jackpot from it too. If you look at the actual layout though, um, the airlock could be going pretty far back. It's all completely triangles. I feel like if we drilled straight into the back with 8C4, we could get straight into loot, but let's see where this door path leads. Okay, another sheet door. At least it looks like he does have a sheet metal door path all the way in. Oh, okay. Now it turns to garage. We're into like a layer on the outside though. Yeah, this looks like the outside wall. We did save a lot of stuff not blasting that. Let's check these garage doors. TC, let's go. All right, dude, sleeping in here with a bunch of boxes. We'll kill this TC, get some doors up. I feel like this is a meme. I don't think he's going to be loaded, but I've raided Stranger Things before and got juiced up, so not discriminating against the space. Yeah, 4C46 rockets, so we got back what we used. But yeah, he doesn't have very much. 27 tech trash, we'll take it. See if he's been farming sulfur, hopefully. Bro, not a single piece of sulfur in the DC. Well, it was worth a shot. We got back C4 and rockets that we used, it's fine. Anyways, I'll keep on looking. I'm honestly just hitting anything that I see since we got loaded from that cliffside bunker. All right, guys, so I said I was raiding anything. We've got a stone base here. It looks like a solo player. He's got a key lock on the door. But anyways, the Rust Academy 5X no BP server is going to be wiping when this video is published. If you guys want to try to counter or build your own base for me to raid. And anyways, onto this base. Let's see if we can score anything. I mean, he does have a sheet metal door. There was a sheet metal wall here in the back. I swear, if we take 4C4 straight onto that wall, I feel like it could be TC. There's a garage door. Holy crap, bro. Oh, guy came out of nowhere. 34 satchels on him? Was he about to raid this thing? All right, let's go for the raid. That was pretty surprising. Dude snuck up on me. Wow, looks like some sort of bunker base. Let's go straight through sheet metal. Can we get a TC? What is this? Yeah, TC, yo! Check that out, dudes. We blew straight into the TC room. Okay, we are safe in here. 
Is this the main loot, bro? That was 100% luck. I almost took that side of the wall, but we took it straight into TC. Let's see if there's anything in it. Oh my God, dude. 3K sulfur, are you kidding me? So you better have boom crafted up. <laughs> wow. Well, this dude's broke as heck, and I think we used up all of our luck. I mean, we'll definitely check that garage door. Let's see if there's anything in like the second loot room over here. I'm doubting it though, but let's try. Man, it's gonna make me go through more garage doors. Solely Sullivan, bro, you're broke. And yeah, there's one more loot room here. Hopefully there's some crafted boom in here. Come on, uh, bro. Uh, oh, that is not a good rate to end the wipe on, but we're going to have to do it. I feel like we're using up all of our luck. Did get 34 satchels from the counter raider, which is actually more than the guy even had in the base. But yeah, I am going to call the video there, guys. Remember the server is wiping as soon as this video is published. Going to call it there for the wipe, and I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. Peace.